So from its sign, you're going to test this if you suspect an injury to the ulnar nerve uh, or feel like there's some uh, prolonged compression that has um, been sustained by the ulnar nerve at this point. So what you want to do to test from its sign is take a, just a normal piece of paper and you're going to have the patient pinch down on that piece of paper and don't really give them any instructions. I just want you to tell them to don't let me pull that piece of paper away from away from them. And they're going to naturally uh, use that uh, adductor pollicis muscle um, that is innervated by the ulnar nerve. And what's going to happen if that muscle is out, they're going to really kick in with the FPL, which is innervated by the median nerve. So this is going to be a positive from its sign. If you see this on your patient, you can suspect some form of injury or compression to the ulnar nerve and you might want to look a little deeper into what's going on there. So again, just to review, the adductor pollicis is innervated by the ulnar nerve and the flexor pollicis longus is innervated by the median nerve. That's why you're going to see that thumb IP go into uh, a lot of flexion to be able to hold that piece of paper in. A lot of times patients aren't even going to know that they're doing this. That's just their body's kind of their body trying to compensate and help them hold that piece of paper like you asked them to do. Um, so a lot of times this goes unnoticed. Um, therapists obviously need to pay attention uh, when there's any kind of uh, ulnar nerve injury. Uh, hey guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. We hope you learned something today and that this was helpful to you in some way. So you know our goal for this channel, the upper hand, is to give you guys the upper hand as you seek to better understand conditions of the upper extremity and just all topics related to occupational therapy in general. So please take a second out of your day, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can be sure that you're going to see all of our upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.